once you have inflammation in the lungs, not just in the passages, the air passages, but within the lung tissue, in the gas exchanging membranes in the lungs, you have pneumonia. And we call that COVID pneumonia. If you're a young person, it seems you're much more likely to get an asymptomatic event with COVID. It also seems that you are more likely to have a mild COVID. And it also seems that if you get COVID, you are less likely to get COVID pneumonia. And if you do, much, much less likely to require ventilation and much less likely to die. So, you know, we still don't fully understand what the age related benefits are of being 20 as opposed to 70. Now, you might think, oh, that's patently obvious. But let me remind you that in the Spanish flu, it was young people who died. This virus is not like other respiratory viruses. And we can't make assumptions about it because a lot of the patterns of even influenza when it was severe in the 1918-19 pandemic the, the patterns of disease the populations that were affected then are different to the populations who are affected now some people don't realize they have pneumonia some young people stay at home they get a test it's positive they self-isolate and they don't necessarily ever um, present at the hospital because they don't think they're sick enough. In that instance, they may have had pneumonia and not ever been able to demonstrate it on a chest X-ray or a CT scan. Certainly, pneumonia in young people from any cause can take a long time to recover. And I often say to young people, you'll get 70 to 80% of the way there in the next five days, but it's going to take you the last 20% is going to take another couple of weeks. And I think we've got to wait a little bit longer before we really know about the medium term consequences when people are on the recovery and how long that recovery on average takes. We know how long on average it takes for the virus to clear, but that doesn't mean recovery. That just means that the virus is no longer detectable in your uh, upper airway secretion. So lung damage is, is not, it's not an overnight recovery. And, and uh, normally, uh, as I said, pneumonia is a several weeks of recovery. And for COVID, it may well be longer for people who've required uh, significant oxygen supplementation. Now those people, we just really don't know at the present time, but we truly would expect, given the severity of this illness, that in those people, there will not be a rapid recovery.